Hello everyone, my name is Silver Gamer 3 me yes, here's some more Let's Play Xenoblade Chronicle X. On the last episode, we... Oh my god. Alexa and her fucking mission of doing the thing of jealous people wanting to murder other folks. It's really all fucked up and all up to interpretation. Uh, maybe, perhaps, this, it's really weird. Anyway, today, we're actually starting off with another affinity mission. And today, we shall be helping none other than HB. Climbing the ladder. You need four affinity with HB, which thankfully is the max you can possibly hit with this character. Well, not the max you can possibly hit. You, you can hit five hearts of infinity, but when... You understand. Let, let's go right into it. Hello, HB. Is your suspension over? Oh, that was just Vandom talking. You know how he gets. I didn't receive a formal censure, so I'm not sparing it a second thought. Oh, uh, you do remember he's our commander, right? Would you please try to talk some sense into HB? If he and the commander don't lay this feud to rest, it's liable to explode. To compromise on this matter would be to go against everything I stand for. I didn't even want to talk about it, to be honest. But since we're here... Well, I suppose you have a right to know. And frankly, I'd like to tell you. A while ago, I gathered some Pathfinder colleagues and took on an assignment. It was a hunt for indigents so vicious, no one else was willing to face them. And yes, we suffered a few injuries. But the mission succeeded in the end. It's proof that Harriers aren't the only ones who can handle these indigents. However, Commander Vandom appears to have reached a different conclusion. In that he punched me. He told me I wasn't to do any blade work until I'd come to my senses. Egregious, I know. Were this Earth, there'd be a lawsuit for certain. The Commander was entirely right to be upset. You stole another Division's job and turned out five injured blades in the process. What possessed you to be so irresponsible? I happen to be the blade best acquainted with the area. I was the logical choice. The Commander's old-fashioned system keeps talented people from utilizing those talents. You can see that, can't you? <sighs> Rules can be bent sometimes, but utterly going against orders, logical, and against fellowship and you know people might not have been injured because of that so I don't agree these current rules cannot keep new LA safe injuries were sustained yes but I protected the city from those indigents I would expect praise for my efforts not a mouthful of loose teeth flexible and adaptable that's how to get optimal performance Ugh, he still doesn't get it you are anything but normal, HB. I certainly hope not, Miss Eleonora. Normal is a slur to one of my singular talents. Now, will you join me at the nest of those indigents? They reproduce with alarming alacrity. Thinning their numbers does little good so long as the Queen lives. Unlike last time, it'll just be us, but... Well... I think we can agree that should be more than enough. Wonderful. Now that that's settled, let's be on our way. Climbing the ladder. We get a non-descriptive reward. That's very strange. We also seem to be getting some material out of it. More good HB to complete the task. Defeat three soldiers in Cydia near Noctilum's Fulkai Pass. <laughs> Is that how you're supposed to pronounce it? Alright, so I guess we're just taking out these indigents uh, for now. That was the last of our targets in this area. I'm afraid their numbers have grown since I was last here. We must head deeper in and destroy the Queen before this escalates any further.
Hello, what's wrong? Are you blades too? Hmm? We are. We're here hunting down the brood's queen. Me too, although I think I screwed up big time. My leg is shot. I can't walk at all. Oh, but don't mind me. You big lunks go on and take care of the target. Otherwise, it'll have more kids, and then things will really get out of hand. Seriously, the mission is way more important than little old me. It's true. This creature multiplies with alarming speed. If we stop to bring this person back to New L.A., the damage will only spread. It's difficult, but... No. The mission must come first. You sound just like Commander Vandom. Shame. I thought you were capable of more rational thought than that. Well... God damn. I mean... Why sacrifice humanity for animality? I know, all right? I know. But I can't admit it. Or else I... Do you know what that Bandom said to me? He told me the more of us that are alive, the more we can accomplish. There ain't no low-priority lives, he said. The answer is clear. We'll bring this one back to the city for treatment. If our target spawns more minions in that time, we'll deal with it later. Well, you're no fun. You're lucky you've got a partner with a level head, HB. You should be thankful you got set straight. What? I was waiting for you, silly. The commander sent me here personally. If you abandoned me, I had orders to punch you right in your fat face. Wait, but your leg? I told Vandom the fake broken leg bit was simply too cliché for words, but he insisted. He must really like you. Honestly, I just signed on for the chance to deck a pretty boy right in the kisser. Oh. Well, good luck with your mission or whatever. I'm heading back to New L.A. Ta-ta! I understand the commander's frustrations, but did I really deserve this? Or maybe... L l I'm very confused about that guy's sexuality. Is he gay or is he straight? Or, or maybe he's... Or, um, I'm sorry, is he gay or is he trans? Or perhaps he's straight, he's just hiding it with extremely gayish and trans-ish behavior? Then again, it's, it's not really just like... Gay behavior. It's just behavior. He's fucking weird. Also, his voice actor fucking sucks. <laughs> oh my god. I can't even process that. If this is Vandom's way of showing affection, he's a twisted soul. In any case, we have a job to finish. Let's go. See, Vandom may just be a loud, obnoxious, punch-loving commander, but he, you know, he set his strings. He, he set his... He, he does set his, uh, his stuff straight, you know? Ain't no priority lives. He, he knows what he's talking about. Most of the time, I, I think. I'm not exactly sure. Alright. Uh, come on. Okay. So, now we just have to take on the Empress and City. Yeah, uh, Laranora, um... It's a it's an NPC that we have a chance to talk to quite a few times in the game. It, it's just its fucking voice actor is goddamn terrible. I mean, it is really bad, and and I don't mean to be a hater against this specific voice actor or something. I want it just it really is probably the voice the worst uh, character voice in the entire game, which. It does mean a lot of things, unfortunately, because there are a lot of shitty voice acting in this game. Just like there are a lot of good ones, but there are also a lot of shitty ones. 
And the fact that Leonora just stands out as being the shittiest, I, I think, speaks volume about how the voice actor just didn't convey any specific emotion. It's physicality of just being trans or gay or straight or whatever, or pansexual or asexual or whatever, conveys more about his personality and his fucking voice. Which, if you know something about his voice acting, is a fucking crime against a character. You do not do that. If the physicality of the character works but not the voice, there's a whole lot of problems there. Imagine if, um... Mob in Mob Psycho 100 was as uh, active, active physically speaking, as Reagan is when it comes to poses and uh, character posture, but he had the same voice and same delivery of the line. You know, that wouldn't work. Anyway, uh, we're in the blade now, so l let's just do this. Well, hey there, HB. Hope I didn't keep you waiting. C commander what are you doing here? I came to put an end to the little upstart gunning for my position. Personally. Nah, <laughs> just kidding. I'm here to hand out the reward. Consider yourself lucky. It's not every day a blade gets paid by the boss man himself, you know. Uh, what's the angle? You told me I wasn't to accept work as a blade for the time being. You think I don't know a wise-ass little upstart like you is gonna ignore that order? That punch was just my way of clearing out the cobwebs, giving you a little push. And from what Lara Nara told me, it worked. That, well, I reset your brain. <laughs> anyway, this is for you. I added a special bonus, just this once. Mission complete. From that, you completed the task with HB, but there is still a rather formidable matter of Commander Venom to overcome. From that we get 340 experience point in 28,000. We also get a multi-wire galax galaxial jewel, hidden cancel ord, and a file SK police. Now we'll go over these in just a in just a tad bit actually this episode, but keep that in mind. <laughs> Sorry to keep making you babysit the Wonder Kid here, but he really does have all kinds of potential. Plus, a pound of guts. So the next time he says something stupid, just give him a little push, okay? Ha! <laughs> I knew you were the right person for the job. See you when I see you. Commander, wait. Don't think any of this changes the way I feel about your methods. Ha! <laughs> Oh, I know it. Though that whole bit about the segregated divisions, just between us. I feel the same as you. I don't like forcing folks into little boxes any more than you do, believe me. If an eager beaver like you wants to tackle a job, I say go for it. But revamping an entire workforce with all kinds of different specializations ain't so simple. So if you want to fix things, you better become commander fast. Otherwise, I might just beat you to it. That was... unexpected. If I might ask, who do you feel is the greater talent? Commander or me? I thank you for your candor. I'm entirely in agreement. But I'm not giving up. A good hurdle ought to be just shy of insurmountable. I'm confident you and I will pass the old dog up yet. Then it will fall on us to keep the people of New LA safe. Logically and efficiently, of course. We learn the shield art. Flame Hand. Which is good. It's not great, but it's good. That's that. Now we're all, while we're at it, and while we're so near Varmory Alley, why not take a look at what's happening right here? Now there's a reason why I'm doing this now instead of later, is because I told you specifically to look out for something a little bit interesting. And also, I want to take this little bit of time just to say, uh, 
for one, as you saw, it didn't say, oh, you have another uh, mission with HB going on very soon. It just, it, it just, we don't have any affinity mission that we can do with uh, HB now, since we pretty much, uh, once you get a four affinity heart mission done with a character, you no longer have an affinity mission with that specific character. Now, during those files, uh, as a reward, you gotta file SK Police. Uh, later, late game, um, <clears throat> sorry about that, late game mission will offer you special files to the uh, special files to develop new gear, and as you can see, you can either go into weapons, protective wear, uh, scale weapons, and of course, scale frames. Now, these later mission allows you to develop new gear that are somewhat powerful depending on how you see them. As you can see, uh, from just that mission, we get all the materials needed to actually construct a US-0232 police model of a scale. Now, as you can see, you have the stats on screen if you are if you wanted to know what's happening. Uh, most of these, act you know, we haven't unlocked most of them, and uh, post-game, uh, after the story, I will, you know, show as much of them as possible, and perhaps develop a few ones if I want to take on the super bosses. Oh god, I am not looking forward to this, but most of them are extremely cosmetic uh, builds. They, they don't really have anything in particular or super stats to them, uh, so to say, but they do require a lot of very w weird and um, weird and unconventional material. For like, Galaxial Jewel or Hidden Kentor Horde, those are not common material. I fought Kentor and I fought a lot of Grexes that could potentially give me Galaxial Jewel or maybe Therids or just... I, I fought a lot of enemies and I only have one <laughs> piece of those materials and it's because it was given to me through that specific mission. So, just be wary that while you can build a lot of stuff doesn't mean that you can build very strong one very effectively. In fact, most of the weaponry you get uh, from this game on is mostly, um, is mostly, you know, uh, the weaponry that you use is usually weaponry you get on the field, so if that tells you anything is that you won't get that much here. Now, fortunately for us, uh, this mission was fairly unlengthy, leaving us with an opportunity to do a little bit more just before going out. Alright, uh, our second mission of the day is actually with Moimoi. Moi. You may remember and or you may not remember it, so let's just talk to him. Terrible news, but up on a Moimoi Moi, sent up a stress signal. When we say that strange monster is singing all around Primordia, now our friend must go rescue him. Whereas instead of fighting a sort of legendary ass and feasting like king, Moimoi Moi will become feast. So Moimoi's Moi is meltdown. An SOS from Moimoi Moi indicated it was under attack on the back of vengeance. Go save him. All we gotta do is a more gen path, gen path plane. Let's order our destination for it. Also, I accepted the basic mission to basically see the request of it. We got a lot of things to do in the industrial district. When the infinite goggles Momo made, a brother punch should be able to spot even creatures hating in shadows. And Wimmy is king of running away from everything, so noisy creatures you won't catch him. Oh, you think no problem, it just looks super tasty to everyone. <laughs> you do look delicious. Yep, Momo feel predatory gaze from somewhere. Brother Pon must go in even manager out there in Primordia. Even Brother Mon will be able to run forever. Friend must help him. Alright, Momoi, I shall. So let's just head there straight away. Here we are. And parked in very odd location. Holy shit, that's weird. <laughs> <laughs> oh, play friend! Perfect timing. Super hungry creatures have been chasing poor Mamae for hours. Mamae and friend are both blades, and blades help each other. Sorry and help Mamae. Mm. Uh, sure. I, I don't know what to say about this. And the best spot is, Bon is free! <laughs> Here they come. Wait, you're flying toward that direction. Oh, that is his cool shot. You know the shot where it just pan out and started trembling? It was a cool shot, like, I, I give it a, a solid five. 
Anyway, uh, all along we are Ravis. They're all coming down. <laughs> Took only one swoop. Got an achievement for that too. Can't complain about these. Well, oh, friend, we really did come at best possible time. When we finally look at solo, uh, sort of legendariness. But when we go to investigate Sosa Single, bad things show up. And, well, friend knows the rest. We may doubt he could manage them alone, so we may have been frantically thinking up a plan while running for life. <sighs> Where's the sort of legend arenas? Legend dies, single points to boss of creators, most likely in Delhi. Dumb greedy guts, must have gold up sword. Um, when we were sent a long location of creativeness, go beat them up quick. Same as one just now. Would we maybe get swords and my cash mountain friend will be rewarded. One free uh, lunch. Yes, one lunch. Very generous. Now go forth and conquer. Mui Mui and Momoi are one hell of a con artist. They keep getting us. I don't know how. I don't know how to do it. They keep getting us with cheap ass tactics and keep falling for them. Really gotta keep our things straight now, wouldn't we? Okay, so it should be right around here. Okay, so there we go. We have the stronger Ravis. Let's take him out. Alright, come on. This really shouldn't be of any issue. I mean, it's an Ravis. What what can it do that we can do to it? You know, you know, there's really nothing to worry about here. It's a fucking Ravis. I've beaten like 20 of those. Maybe more. I'm still getting fucking experience bar from from the shit. Like, the, the, I'm so fast at killing them, it doesn't even. Oh my god! If we have gravity weapon, that would be phenomenal on these guys. Since they're flying based, gravity weapon does so much damage to them. It's actually kind of phenomenal. It does like 100,000 points of damage per hit. It is insane. Well, then again, it's one big hit, but it's still, it's, it's fucking enormous. Alright. Oh, come on, that didn't kill him? How much HP, how much HP does he have? He must have had, like, easy, like, 200,000, maybe more? He has a lot of health. Yeah, so it was inside Billy, of course. The Pulsolo Legendariness is finally found. Now we mean Momo I can finally go for Dwompur to stupid rich. It is all thanks to help to friend. We must hurry back to show Momo. We also friend one free lunch. We're back to Nueli before our first bias. Well, I think we should just head there before they fuck up something else. As per done with your request, I have conquered, I have seen, and I am done. Moi moi. No, not you, moi moi. I don't care about you. Stop it. No, not you. I want to talk to Momoi. Cheer up, brother Pun. So much tap at this rate. Moi moi is starving streets. Sorry, moi moi. Wanted to be more dependable, brother Pun. Oh, moi moi. Sure, brother Pun will find so legendary next time. Hmm? Our friend came back to check on us. Thanks again for helping, Brother Pun. Well, what do we know about the sword? It's a technically legendary item, so Legendar picked it up, but, uh, uh turns out it is actually sort of Little Pun of Legendary Hero Pun used to play with. And Legendary Toy Sword only worth around 250 credits. According to old writing, the sort of the real sort of legendary is a strange pattern that appears on Hangar. Momo should have told Brother Pon about that. He is Clyde, defeating monster, finally found sword, and for what? <sighs> well, he, I did defeat the indigents. Friend is sure? Hmm, we we a little fuzzy on the subject. Thank you, friend. Guest of Brother Pawn to find the Sword of Legendary will go on. Probably. Someday. Uh, Momoi hopes to find friend will offer the same support for him when that happens. Mui Mui's Meltdown. Mission complete. Looks like Mui Mui's Sword of Legendary was nothing but a toy. Future of hair, brain, get rich, quick scheme, no doubt awaits. God damn it. Those little bastards. They're doing it again. 
Big Candy again with the Wayne fans. Oh, damn. Well, you know what's left? A heart to heart of the day. And a heart to heart of the day is with Thelma. Hey, girl. How you doing? Aren't you talking with someone? Oh, no, it doesn't seem. Maybe you're just watching them. Oh, Cross, what a coincidence. Are you interested in cause? Personally, nah. Is that right? I'm hardly an expert on the topic, but the cars here seem different from the ones I knew back on Earth. I have a gearhead friend who used to all, in all kinds of crazy car jargon, and he drove me around in his classic car. One wells, glass pack, supercharged Hemi, racks and pinion steering, stuff like that. His car is really old fashioned and installed all the time. Uh, but I think that gave me an appreciation for the history of automobile. When you feel like cars were well, more than just a bunch of bolts and metals. Hmm. Really? Well, I'll show off. Is that so? You must know a great deal about car in that case. I assume you managed to just stand up and decide to switch to gasoline overnight after all. Technology isn't always evolves, it makes use of tools available to us. But if you manage to thrive on this plant, the cars we know we see in the city would not be considered classic one day themselves. That would be nice, wouldn't it? The, v the driving force of a heart to heart. Talking is not my kind of force, unfortunately. And it's going to be it for now. Thank you everyone for watching. My name is Alfred Me3, and I'll see you all next time. Oh, hello.